Hi, I'm Adam Kunzmiller at Gen Con 2015 with Board Game Geek TV, and I'm joined here by Jim Long and Robert DeMeo with Ares Games, mm -hmm. and we're here to talk about Jolly Roger, the game of piracy and mutiny. So tell me about Jolly Roger. What do we have here? Okay, we have a game which is both uh, a cooperative game on one end, uh, but also a very cutthroat game on another end. Cutthroat it's cooperative? You don't yeah, get that cutthroat cooperative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a nice combo that comes through as a combination of two things that happen in the game mostly. So each player has a certain number of crewmen, and so they start the game with five, and they their crewmen are how they perform their actions, is by playing cards to, that are part of the pirate ship. As you might expect, the pirate ship is full of very flavorful characters, sure. and so there are some characters that are a little more generic that provide information, and other characters that that have a bit of, of flavor to them that do unique things for different parts of the um, different parts of the game. All right, this okay. way. Okay. So the game starts. You select a captain, and the captain every round will make three decisions. First, he decides who his quartermaster is, and the quartermaster is an important position because the quartermaster also makes some decisions. Um, the second thing that the the captain will decide is where they go, and so where do you want to actually sail? There's a couple of different places you can go. You can sail to try to capture a fort, capture a merchantman, capture a town. You can go to Treasure Island and bury your treasure, and then you can go to Pirate Port and actually gain more crew in the form of cards. So the captain, after he's selected his quartermaster, then decides, well, we're going to try to attack this merchantman. Okay, That's his second decision. The hand of cards that the players have then indicate how successful they are or, or use as resources to capture the, the merchantman in this case. Each card has two components. The first part is what they do in an actual, if you're trying to capture a, the a merchantman or a town so or a fort. Like their, their strength for Exa capturing stuff. Exactly. And there's a couple of different pieces. There's navigation, mm -hmm. fighting, and then there's also one for guns. Okay. And so, a, on a merchantman, for example, the card, you don't know exactly what the merchantman has until you actually engage with it, gotcha. but it'll, it'll range from three to five navigation, one to three guns, one to two fighting skills. Yeah, so you see on here, you see the range that it could be, and then when you actually engage, yes. you see what it actually Exactly. Is. Like, so, sense? players take the pirates from their hand, and they commit cards to the, to the, the combat in any order, so it's very open. Mm -hmm. Pirates can submit as as many cards as they want, as few cards as they want. So I see the cooperative aspect. Where, yes. Where's the cutthroat coming? <laughs> okay. Um, at the any time the captain makes a decision, and there's three per turn, then any crew member can say, "I don't like that decision." Mutiny. Okay. Once you mutiny, then sides are drawn. So some people can side with the captain or with the mutiny. In that case, you no longer use the skill of the card. You okay. just use the actual number of pirates. So some cards. You know, so it's anywhere. just a pure numbers game. It's a point. pure numbers game. And people, in the game, in the same open order, you can say you play down it's, cards for either the all, mutiny. Not all about numbers, anyway, because there are always oh, the the special, special characters yeah. which can play nasty tricks, like the cutthroat, which can just mm -hmm. end the, the mutiny in a very swift and brutal way by just... <laughs> okay. uh, you so also have things like stowaways, and uh, okay. there's a powder monkey card that really is good in a mutiny. So. So then it's, it's every pirate for themselves. Do you support the mutiny or do you support the captain? Well, once you support the captain, is he going to be nice to you for supporting him or not? So, so at the end of the game, does an individual player win? Yes. If you're successful in capturing, for example, a merchantman, you'll actually get five treasure cards in this case. So, And captain being the captain, he gets to decide first, he gets the pick of the loot. So in this case, you take your so, five cards. He says, well, I'll take this three, and he keeps it, all right? He gives the other four cards to the quartermaster, who then doles them out to the rest of the crew as evenly as possible. Oh, okay. So in this case... So he for, can't say, like, I'm going to intentionally give all the good ones to the people who supported oh, me. No, he, it's, he, the cards are what has to be equal. Oh, not so everybody value. gets one card. Right, gotcha. so, so if the three so of us... So he can do that. Yeah, so if the three <laughs> of us were playing, he'd say, well, I have to dole these out between the other two members. I'll take these two threes, and I'll give you this one and this two. Got it. All right, well, here I'm looking at the pirate going, well, maybe mutiny is in the future because I don't Clearly get Clearly I'm not valued on exactly. this ship. Yes, exactly, that's it. After 10 rounds or when all the treasure cards are gone, um, everyone, the, the pirates count up their treasure. 
and the one the most treasure wins. Yeah. Another important aspect and kind of the final piece is that your treasure is always at risk. The losing side of a mutiny loses all their treasure cards oh, wow. and get redistributed to the deck. If you can get to Pirate, uh, to Treasure Island, and it requires a map, which is one of the special characters in the game has a map. Um, if you get to Treasure Island, you can bury your treasure and make it safe. Turn it face down so that gotcha. no one can steal it from you. And you said 10 rounds. How long does a typical game last? 40 minutes, uh, 45. It depends. Uh, it's a game with negotiation and bribing sure. and so Promises, depending on the style so of game. So the if you, if, right. if, yeah, if you play very mechanically, it can be like I can 30 see one minutes. Lasting 20 minutes with, yeah. the right, with a certain group of yeah, people. Yeah, so it also right? depends on the number of mutinies, right. of mutinies because of course each mutiny brings a little bit more time in the game. I say between 30 minutes and one hour. And the good thing is that the game scales up really well. Mm -hmm. So you can really play up to 10 players. And the more players you've got around the table, the more fun in the game is. So what's the minimum players for it to be kind of a viable and uh, work well? Four players is really the minimum. We included a variant for three okay. players, which was designed by the authors. But really, the fun part comes from the social element interaction. I think it shines with seven plus. But also is also fun between four and six players. But seven plus, I think it's, it's it. Okay, great. Well, that was Jolly Roger, a cooperative uh, cutthroat game from Aries. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So let's.